Um, yeah, uh, we found a way to, to close it out. Um, you know, I was really proud of our guys. I, I thought we spent the last uh, two or three days really working on our offense. And uh, it clicked, you know, it clicked in the first half for about 12 to 14 minutes to really click. And I think a lesson from today's game, and what I said was, now we feel good, now they respond, and we got tight. And I thought it showed a little bit. I thought um, we spent a lot of time on our offense. And, you know, I think for portions of the game, you know, they got a little loose, um, you know, from us defensively. And then obviously they were able to get to the glass a little bit. But I was really proud of our guys. And um, it's funny, I, I have my son in here, and I used him as an analogy to our team. And uh, when he comes around our, our program, you know, he, he just runs in with great enthusiasm and a big smile, but he attacks people. I mean, he just runs at you. And what I said is like, we, we have to enjoy what we're doing, and we have to go attack it with great confidence. And he does that every time. And it was awesome um, to bring him to the locker room just now, and I actually played a video of him at his basketball game. He was running to guard somebody, and basically tackle him, and he's smiling and laughing. And I said that we have to enjoy what we're doing regardless of the outcome. And I thought I got really responded. We had some really great moments um, throughout the course of the game. I was really proud of Jarvis Stoles. You know, I really wrote him so far since I've been here because I think there's more in him. Him going to the basket and trying to dunk it the way he did, him going after a rebound the way he did that, we've been pushing him to do that. And I, I was so excited for him. Um, I think Chuck Champion has responded. You know, some of the things that we want from him, he was really good minutes, obviously. It's really very close the game up for us, and, and I, I'm very you know, proud of him for that. It's a great win for us, it's a great night. You know, I thought the crowd was great, especially towards the end, the energy and the, the just, the loud, the loudness of the gym was terrific for us, and you know, that's where we're trying to go. We're trying to make this an everyday thing. We want it to be a big couple of bathroom lessons every day. Coach, Mike, do you want to start us off? Sure, yeah. William, just to, to kind of stay on Dre, um, kind of two parts. I mean, you said this week you were kind of worried about him just kind of physically. Um, just for him to kind of come through that and have the night he did and kind of that final play, I mean, was the ball always going to him? those last nine seconds? Uh, you know what, the previous possession we tried to put the ball in Jamel's hands and, and he kind of got leveled, didn't really have anything. Um, I trust my instincts when he said Dre. And Dre's a greedy kid, this is a greedy win. And you know, sometimes you gotta make something out of nothing and he did. Um, and um, you know, he's a kid that you trust, he's a winner. He just figures it out. And you know, with um, you know, limited time on the clock, two free throws, I, mean, I, I had all the confidence in the world. I knew he was. He wanted him, you know, and that's why I believe in him. And um, yeah, it was hard, you know, for him to get to the game, but he said, I'm playing and I'm, I'm ready to go. And, you know, he's going to be through. It's going to be a hard year for him, you know, just the wear and tear of the season, but he's responded. You know, he got massaged to his, you know, therapy, um, got himself ready, and, and it's going to be the journey that we're in together. Hey, Coach, you, you talk about the energy and everything, anxiety and attacking. One thing that it's probably going to run noise in this game. I was in Trey, you know, hitting the last two shots and got the way you guys held it down there. It's Trey Hutchinson's effort. Um, I thought, like, with the rebounding and everything and the hustle, what he was doing in the game, and everything wasn't clicking. kind of kept him in the game. Could you, if you could, please, um, yeah. um, elaborate on that. You know, he's another greedy guy. I mean, I love greedy guys. And he's got a lot of grit to him. Obviously, shooting helps us, but I, I love his grit. Um, he's got a big block. You know, um, late in the second half, got two big time rebounds that we needed. And he just finds a way to get them. And again, I think he's a winner. You know, we're learning how to win. Um, I think this is part of our process. And but Trey understands it. Trey understands it. Some other guys are still learning, you know, especially with this group. But um, he's a big part of that, you know, because I think he, he's never shy at moments. You know, you can put him on a five man, put him on a guard. He's just trying to compete. And uh, the thing we talked about a lot this week for our guys was. Every day we need to bring toughness, competitiveness, focus, hard work, energy. Those five things we'll figure out everything else. And yeah, actually, real we'll, we'll quick, too. Rich, I'm going to get from the game. Huh? Did you, did you, what, what did you yeah, I didn't see the play. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, they said that, that there, was, there might have been like a, a, a punch thrown or something of that nature. I didn't see it. Um, so, what I said to our guys though, was that we can never respond you know, to how the game's officiated. We can't control it. So, we just have to get out there and control what we can control. That's our play and that's our effort. And um, I was proud of him because he just got out of the gym. And I know we cheered his guys and I assume the game was over. He was right back on the floor to support them. So that's what we need to do. Um, 
Um, on Thursday, you talked about you know needing to instead of you know if you're building instead of pulling out the ball and trying to play, you pick it out. And it seemed like you guys did that pretty well in the first half, and then kind of got away from it. Yeah. Well, why was that? Was that like a defensive thing Columbia was doing, or what happened there? No, I thought we still got to the spots. I thought we got a little tight. I mean, the game, you know, it's a one-two possession game, so everything mattered. And I think it's just new for our guys. And, you know, we get up to a big lead. Everybody's feeling good now. Columbia's a good basketball team. They respond. You know, they're well coached. And um, I think our guys just got a little nervous. So they're not kind of tentative. Do I shoot it? Do I drive it? You know, what's the right play to make? Um, and then we try to settle our team in and get into the right guys. I think our had a couple big possessions there um, just to settle us in. You know, we tried to put something up on the way on that way shot clock, you know, opportunity. We threw a lot of the draft. I thought, I thought he might have got fouled. You know, we're trying to settle us down just a little bit because we're trying to make sure we get a good possession. And that makes the kids tired, you know, tight a little bit. Um, but we learned from them to be better for it next time later. Jamel had talked the other day about, you know, that, that you guys kind of need to guard against playing like a, a losing culture set in just with the early season results. Low in the lead and fall behind. Coming back, does that show you as a coach that, that hasn't set in? And yeah. This is still a group that's yeah. fighting. There should never be any quick in our team in our program. Um, and I think that was evident today. Um, and then we need to believe in each other. And I think that was evident today. And um, you know, the thing I also had to talk about today was you know, everybody went around the room and talked about who they were as a player and as a man. And I said, we need to be there every day. And most of our guys believe they're winners, so we operate like winners today. To follow up on that question, uh, your team showed a lot of maturity going into the second half, not giving up when the lead came down. Uh, what did you tell your veterans and your younger players to keep them composed in that second half? To stay in the moment, to stay in the moment, and, uh, and keep doing what we're trying to do defensively, keep trusting each other, and step up, make plays. And uh, I thought they really did a good job with that, especially you know, when we really kind of late and probably you know, execute pretty well. Um, real quick, how concerned about your concern are you about your team's um, physical being as soon as they got played on Monday after coming out of a tough game like this? Yeah, I mean, it's every kid's dream to play a lot of minutes <laughs> until you play those minutes and they start to wear on you a little bit. Uh, you know, Trey plays 34 minutes, Travis 21, Trey 32, Jamel 28, Matt 29. It's a lot. And then we got to get on the bus and drive the bus and play an ACC program, but you know, that's what we do. And I think there's it's a great opportunity to build some more grit and more toughness. And I mean, we can't make excuses. We have to take advantage of our opportunities. How honestly, how's your blood pressure? Mine? Yeah. Great. This is what I love to do. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm great. I mean, this is this is awesome. We're just in our process and we're focused on that. And uh, the outcomes obviously want the outcome to be a certain way. But I love it. I love what I do. Is, uh, I know you mentioned him kind of here the other day. Had something with his knee. I guess just what is kind of his situation? Yeah, he has to get an MRI. He wasn't able to get it scheduled um, prior to the game, so we're hoping that I hope we can get it. I it probably may not have that could be see, so he may not be available for after that game. Um, like the lead, the injury bug is flying around this campus. So I'll tell you that. And he, when we saw him out on the court. He, he looked like he was moving around. Yeah, so it, it's more of just. Out of um, just concern to make sure there's nothing wrong structurally or internally in his knee. So, I want to make sure we can get that done before he's clear for play. And, uh, you know, he, he's had a little bit of knee you know, issues in, in his previous, in the past, prior to his arrival here. So, just trying to be cautious. Yeah, question for Coach? Good. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you.